church is under attack pastors are under attack anybody who's doing something bringing souls who are lost to the kingdom of God are all painted as robbers fraud stars called names those we're supposed to upload today we look at as criminals pastors need to have big lawyers today because you see they are all painted as bad people this is a presentation of Alleluia Ministries International. Insult you, has broken you inside, develops negativity in you. Today you have lost completely your self-esteem. When you meet somebody in the street who say you are beautiful, you think you've been insulted. Because you have heard so many bad things from that fellow. That now it is your reality. It tells you who will be with you. I am doing you a favor to still provide for you. But you see the reason why you're not living is not because you are not understanding the gravity of being there. It's simply because you have no blacksmith. You are so dependent. You need him. You cannot fight that spirit because at the end in any battle you will still need to walk to the Philistines' land because only the Philistines know how to manufacture weapons. The enemy has locked the church in the same. Today, we have nothing. It doesn't matter how many Christians may be in the land. Which bank looks at you? Go to any bank and lay down a plan and say, as a church, we will want you to finance us. We need some funding from you to build the church. They will tell you, we do not finance the church. We do not finance the house of God. That is your personal. We stay away. But they don't stay away in receiving the deposit of money coming from you. They stay away when you need them the most. The blacksmith, Israel in battle with the Philistine, could not proceed anymore because as they began to move toward the Philistine, they realized we have no blacksmith. We have no blacksmith. We need them. We need the people who are supposed to be rebuked. We need them. Your boss is mistreating you. You have nothing to say. Because what will you say? What will you do? How will you fight? What do you have? There is no blacksmith. Now, a blacksmith is a worker of iron is a smith and the smith is here here is somebody who have the skills to work iron to cut iron to make things out of it to repair it and all this is done by hand using simple utils such as hammer is a worker I prayed and I said to God if hallelujah ministries will have to strive give me my own blacksmith oh Jesus Lord if this marriage has to stand we cannot depend on the in-laws we stay in their house at the back we eat their food from spa. We use the car to work. What will you say in that house? God spoke to me and say, "Is breaking dependency today. Thank you. God Jesus. said that there will be blacksmith in the house today. Men and women, we will not depend on the work from the Philistine. Thank you, Jesus. You, you, you want to go, you, you want to go to 
serve God in a certain country. And for you to go, you have to go and visit your boss to ask for advance in salary. And this man is completely against God and the work of God. You expect to go and conquer the world. Depending on the finance that comes from somebody who has no regard for your God. You want to conquer the world and television that you want to use doesn't belong to you. It belongs to somebody who has no regard to your God. God, give us our own bouquet, our own television channels. Jesus' name. You cannot go and use the platform of the enemy against him. And say, give me your platform. I just want to tell people how bad you are. Remember, say, you can call the devil everything you want to call. Don't call him a fool because he's not a fool. I was in a hospital one day visiting somebody. This is many, many, many years ago. And as I walked in, the Lord opened my eyes. This is not to scare you. The Lord opened my eyes and I saw there was a big traffic. People going in and out. And I did not at first pay attention until the angel of the Lord next to me said, Alf, are you seeing this? Then I paid attention that the traffic was not that that, that day the hospital was just busy. But it was that uh, we had visible people and invisible people. And God, by his grace, opened my eyes to see. And some of them that were invisible operated like doctors. Because I saw people in a white uniform. This is a true a revelation of vision I saw. Carrying somebody, laying down there. But when I saw them, though they looked like doctors, they went through the walls. The Lord told me. They stole a soul. Jesus of mercy. Now, I began to picture this person came to the hospital to go and get treatment. But the ground where she went was not a good ground. It was a net the enemy had laid. And because probably this person was not spiritually covered, they have harvested him. Literally, they have harvested the person. And the Lord said, did you see that? Through the angels spoke to me. They, like doctors, they went through the walls. My heart beat as never before. I said, Lord, what is happening? He said, many have come to lay hand on those who are uncovered. That's why, plead the blood of Jesus. Be covered, be connected. Amen. The devil goes around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. When he goes out there in the street, on the highway, he's looking for somebody who is easy to catch and easy prey. And if you are just a simple person and all you know is Jehovah, Jehovah, they will eat you. Right. It is time for us to build hospitals where doctors are spirit filled. Hospitals who call on him, Jehovah Rapha. Hospitals with an intercessor, an intercession group that prays for those who have sickness and disease that may come in. Yamando Robo Seta, Yakato Robo Seta, Rakatuku, Rakatata. Now you see, because there is no blacksmith, even when you want to fight the devil in your health, where do you go? To the Philistine. Where do you go? To this man who is given to occultism. The only way he got to where he is now is to sacrifice, blood sacrifice, all kind of incantation. It is this person, you go and give your vein that it may pull blood. And after you have left, he tests your blood. May fire come on him. Fire! I said, may fire come fire. on him. There was no blacksmith found in Israel. Not even one. Israel was completely dependent. Why? Because the Philistines said it was purposely driven. 
It was not by accident. It was well orchestrated. That whatever they do in the living, they may remain dependent. The Philistines said, lest the Hebrews make sword and spears. The enemy knows what will happen to him once you can make your own sword. Satan knows what will happen to him once you can make your own spear. The reason why you hear so many people who try to be holy but they are not, they carrying a message that if you want to have provision in God, you are fleshy, you are materialistic, your, your, your heart is not in the right place, it's because either it is ignorance speaking through them or the enemy has worked them. Satan knows that as long as your hand will be empty, your words will be empty. Jesus. To love with words is one thing. To love with action is another. And to love in action requires resources. That's right. And the reason why your hands cannot be empty, if your hands are empty, I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, those of you who are listening to me, the enemy will always have an upper hand. You see now, I'm trying to push this concept in you that are you having it, having your resources, having the money God has given you is not a choice anymore. It is an assignment. Amen. The devil knows that the day you will have substance in your hand, there will be trouble. Some of you, if only today, you will have one million rand. Now, your mother's house will be fine. Your grandmother who had labored for you, who now has to suffer, waiting for grant, will not suffer like that. The devil knows that. The devil knows that what comes in your hand will bless so many people. That's why he will do all he can to stop you. Blacksmith. No blacksmith. Mm. You depend on the very thing you're supposed to be fighting. And it is done because Satan knows. If you have ability to make your own sword is in trouble. Now, this is what God said. He said to me, tell my people I am raising up blacksmith in the midst. You see, tell my people that I will break that evil dependency the enemy had laid on them. In the name of Jesus. They will not depend financially on anybody anymore. I receive it. I receive it. I, I thought that that was the word you were waiting to receive. Seven. They will not depend on anybody financially In the anymore. name of Jesus. Your salary is too small to sustain you in the battle that is coming. And God say, as you will allow him today, not that it will come from you, his hands will begin to vibrate in you. He will lift you up. He will lift you up. I am prophesying over you. He will lift you up. You will be in a place where nothing is missing. Nothing is broken. Hear me, naturally, as people grow, we get into a place of maturity. In that place of maturity, it is said that uh, is a place of interdependence. When a child is born, the child is dependent. For the child to eat, to drink, to clean himself or herself, such a child needs help. If you do not clean your baby, the baby will be smelling, the baby will mess up on, on himself or herself, that child needs you to help. Because in your first and early age of existence, you are dependent. Some children to eat, 
though it is for their own good, you have to come up with a very creative tricks hmm, just to make the child open the mouth and eat. The child is in an age of dependency. But as that child begins to progress and grow, enter into a teenage time of his life, that child moves from dependency to completely independency. The child doesn't want you to come to his room. The child locks the room. The child now, if he has a cell phone, the cell phone has seven pins. The child has a diary where he writes things and nobody must see because I don't want you. I have my own life. That is now in the natural realm. And as this teenager is growing in a certain level, eyes will open. And such a child will realize that no, I don't need to be dependent or independent. I need to get in the place of interdependence. And that this is important because that forms the body. The body is interdependent on each other, organs and so forth. But you see, this reality is only in the natural realm, in the good sense. When you are functioning with the devil, he does not want you to be interdependent on him because you cannot be equally yoked. He doesn't want you to be independent. It means that uh, you are out of his control and that this may uh, say that uh, you are somewhere else with somebody else, meaning under the control of somebody else. Everything that the devil longs for is to have you and keep you. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, there are many people who look free, but they do not know that the devil has them and is keeping them. Mm. They can jump. They can open their hands wide, but the truth of the matter, where it matters, the devil has them. The devil knows that as long as I keep them here, I keep on holding what is of them here. No matter how many times they go to church and jump, they will come back here. Your spouse does not respect your God. Your spouse does not like your church. Your spouse has no good mind when it comes to your men of God. But for you to go to that IVP, you want to stretch your hand. Please, Papa. Please, Abego, give me. And you're asking God, oh God, touch him so he may be able to provide means for me to come to church. Let me tell you, daughter of Zion, this man is about to know that you are indeed a daughter of God. I receive it. There is a new generation, a new generation that God is raising up. Generation of men and women who live high in everything they do. They live high. Amen. God is with them. They live high. I receive it. It is time for us to build schools. It is time for us to build hospitals. It is time for us to build universities. It is time for us to build big companies, big corporations. Where no boss will tell you before you are promoted, you have to compromise with me. No, your boss won't say that because this organization is a godly organization. And that those who are in power in this organization, their first mind is to develop those who are down to lift them up. Blacksmith! As it stands, the church is so dependent. That's right. The church has found that poverty is a blessing. Defeating the very purpose for which Jesus Christ died. Because in redemption, the Bible says, He died so that you may be saved, your sin forgiven, justified, free. 
healed and he died so you may be rich the bible says he became poor so you may be rich we have orphans to take care of yes we have men and women who cannot fend for themselves and the only way we can show the love of our lord jesus christ is in extending our hand That's right. hand of love hand of compassion and we cannot do it only if we pray. We do it because we have means. Right. Those who are discussing now what should be taught in our schools are not always those we trust because of their values. But their decisions will bind us, yes. bind our children. Mm. No blacksmith. The church is under attack. Pastors are under attack. Anybody who's doing something, bringing souls who are lost to the kingdom of God are all painted as robbers, fraudsters, cold names. Those we're supposed to applaud today, we look at as criminals. Pastors need to have big lawyers today because you see, they are all painted as bad people, manipulators. And in high offices, no one is standing to speak for them. Right. No one. In contrary to get the applaud of people, and this is a reality around the world. Some are saying, we need to open our eyes. If the church is no longer the representation of the love of God and the character of Christ, what else do we have? I tell you. What else remains? So if everyone is fake, if everyone is doing wrong, except those who are insignificant in their work, because they represent no threat. That's right. That's true. Very true. Who will speak for the church? That's why the church need vocal Christian radical politicians, leaders of our people everywhere we go. Amen. We need people that will stand. There is a, a head of state I love. Many find him controversial. Jesus was controversial. So if you're not yet controversial, you're not starting. So this head of state loves speaking about Jesus openly. I say, it doesn't matter what else he does. That is politics. Because he speaks about my Jesus, I pray for him. That settles it. The mere fact that he says, Jesus is Lord. And we see him pushing the agenda of Christ. There are levels where people, they, they shy away from our Lord. They shy away from speaking of our Jesus. But this man stands and speaks. I'm talking about Donald Trump. I know I'm... Uh... Doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not into politics. It's not my problem. I want somebody that will openly say, Jesus is Christ. Now don't feel offended if you are not, that's not my problem. And I care. We need blacksmith, men and women that will say, whenever a church has to be built in this city, I will approve. I will locate a land. We need blacksmith. Men and women who will say, as a dean of this uh, school and varsity, I will make sure that the name of Christ does not uh, go down in vain. Amen. We need blacksmith. Men and women who will not be dependent financially. From today, I break the backbone of dependency. In the name of Jesus. Evil dependency. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. Of I say Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, have a seat. Have a seat. Robo Sayaba. Rama Sekete. Mato Robosia. Lift your hand. 
as high as it can get. So, Lord, make me a blacksmith. Make me a blacksmith. Say, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Make me a blacksmith. Make me a blacksmith. Now, keep your hand up. When you say, oh, Lord, make me a blacksmith, you are not referring to just a man who goes in a certain workshop and begin to hammer some metal or iron. You are saying, oh God, make me independent. Jesus. Break dependency that the enemy has brought to me. Jesus' name. I need to be free. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Alf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Alf Lukau on all social media platforms at Alf Lukau.